you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we want to understand why rape victims are always blamed for being raped. Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wish Africa One with the hashtag Wish Show or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818038463. Our phone lines also will be open. Please, when you're calling in, try to keep it within a minute and turn off the volume of your television set so we can hear you clearly. I'll just take some comments um, okay. quickly. And maybe, Sansi, you should take your comment as well. Um, in Kechi as well, your, your comment. So, ways it says, rape is condemnable. Sadly, it's difficult to read what's on a man's mind. I think that's what he means. It's important to reveal and educate the impact on a woman in a compassionate manner so that the society as a whole can be healed. Uh, thank you so much, Bensi, for this comment. I'm very, very tensed right now because it's actually very painful. It is, it is the most painful feeling ever. Um, today, he says today, continuation, he says today, music videos, movies, dress code truly has enhanced and, prov uh, and it provokes so much. Um, prevalence of drug has also pushed the misbehavior is, is to um, a different level. Consequences are broad. More education is required to help mold the right, um, the right thoughts. I mm -hmm. agree with you, Benson. Thank you for your comments. Sanzi, let's take your comments. All right, so this is from Moyo. It says, rape is a see no evil, hear no evil. Look at the statistics of rape, and you know that we are not talking too much about it. And another one from Salamatu. An uncle raped me from primary school for some few years. I could not talk just did what he asked. I felt useless, started dressing with big clothes to avoid men getting attracted to me. I know about that. But that did not stop three more attempts over the years. So it is not you ladies. They are just sick people. Very sick. Um, Can Kishi? I just um, make a comment on what that person mm. just said? Um, mm. You know this myth where they tell women um, dress very decent, don't go out at night, don't get drunk, mm. Don't do that. I understand and I, I get where that advice is coming from. But where is the advice for men to tell them that you can't do shit like this? Mm. Most women who have been raped have been raped by close friends and family, by their fathers, mm. uncles, cousins. I've handled a case before. A cousin. I have handled one. And it, it's, so, it's so upsetting. My near, my near rape case was from somebody I called my best friend. And guess what? It was in my house. My father's house, where I was almost raped. Wow. I didn't go out. I was in my own house, well-dressed. So tell me why somebody would come into my own house and try to rape me. Hmm. I didn't go out. So what's your excuse? What, what do you have to say? And then when people say, oh, I, I was drunk, or I was high, I was this. Now, um, the guy, who, uh, the comment you read, he said um, that music videos are, um, are pushing indecency and all of that. Now, a girl and a guy went to the club. They both drank. They are both drunk. Oh, hi. So why is it only the man that is touching her? Why isn't she trying to touch him? <laughs> Let me take Richard. Why? Why? Hmm. Richard, are you there? Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, guys. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say, Richard. I think this, I think this topic, you guys have to like, spend like 12 on this topic. I went, I went to an old boy secondary school in Kaduna in the 80s. I that the time you see guys just and all they're talking about is teaching the other point how to rape girls. Oh my god. You know, I always hear people talk about the girl child, the girl child. The boy child is so messed up. It's even worse now with smartphones and mm. these moves. Yeah, people can just on the just the click of the button. They can see any kind of on they want to see. Guys are exposed to drugs and a whole lot of things. Do you understand? And nothing is being done to correct this abnormally. Now you train the girl child on how to be a good girl and how to be whatever. But the boy child that she will date tomorrow or that she will get married to tomorrow has not had been messed up, had his mind messed up. So most, a few weeks years ago, ago, I saw a, a documentary on about this rape issue in South Africa and in India. As in, I said, is it this bad? You don't it's only read very read, bad. Read, 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 read. Do you understand? It's so bad now that you know, are quiet now. You know that the time sometimes during lockdown, the rape issue was a whole lot. It was prevalent. Oh, so it's like everything is quiet, but it's still happening. Hmm. I'm a life coach. I have those issues every day. Every day. If you, if you hear what people say, 
who I have sent you your ears. Sometimes I just shut down. I don't I don't want to think for myself. I just shut down from the whole world. It is that crazy. Thank you so much, Richard. It's about race. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Richard. You know what? I do want to um, come uh, attack this from a different perspective, a not so popular opinion, but I think it's about time we started addressing it. Because usually for women, women do churches a lot. Right? And I'm a huge believer that life is spiritual. Most things are not just on the surface as it seems. So women are the ones going for deliverance, marine spirit, this one, that one. But these guys, listen, some of these men are controlled by lust. Like, it is in them. The same way you have, like, people running mad on the streets. Like, spiritually, they, they just go mad. And then you have kleptomania. People who just want to pick something. And they don't even know why they do it. I admit that it may not be everybody, but there's a certain percentage of people who are under the control of spirit of loss. And it's about time we start talking about this no, thing. but you heard Get people just like, 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 no, but there Ooh. is, um, what was that story? Let me to Aziz Kadrio, the 20-year-old who raped a 4-year-old mm. lady. A, a young girl and he was saying that he's never the guy was a virgin he had never like raped anybody before but for some and he would see people on the road as if something is just pushing them no, sleep with them so that's, what you, that's what he was saying yeah that you know they indoctrinate the boys mm -hmm. imagine that you are in a school that they are constantly teaching you how to rape so this thing is deeper than we think right a lot mm -hmm. so i'm trying to corroborate your story mm -hmm. that yes it's coming from me because there is no how it is not a psychological problem this person is sick upstairs. For you to just look at a woman, I mean, I, I, I've given the story countless times where I was on, on a queue in mm -hmm. school then in the university. This guy, Even all he bands. does, that's what I'm saying, in the bank, all he does, he goes for long queues and stays behind girls. Like somebody. And you know, and he tries to, you would, the day he I did it, I literally like saw his yeah, whatever. Like it, it has too. happened to me in banks. I had to tell him like, dude, dude would you step you away from me? He, he brought it out. You know, I saw it. So that kind of a person put in a room or is in a place with it, of course he will rape the person. And I Do you like, understand? I, I like that Richard actually mentioned about um, the boy child because I, I know somebody, a family member, um, he's just 15 years old and he came back from school, I think it was sometime last year, and um, he stays in the boarding, in, he stays in the hostel. And then he came back and he was complaining about how one of his senior students almost raped him. Oh dear. I was, I was mad. That is even another level. I, I was, I was furious. Now it shows that parents need to start doing better. You need to start teaching mm -hmm. your sons. You need to teach your daughters. Don't, don't limit the teaching to just your, your girl child. Mm -hmm. You have the men out there. You need to teach them. And you don't have to wait till they are, they are 18 years old or 20 years old to start telling them that Consent is very important. Yes. This entitlement that people have over other people's bodies or over other people's things is really, really annoying. It's very ridiculous and it needs to stop. <laughs> it needs to stop. And you giving a lady money or perhaps, yes, we agree that women are mostly dependent on men because we live in a patriarchal society and women naturally don't get as much opportunities to make money as men, even though the status quo is gradually changing. So if a woman maybe needs rent and she asks you, okay, I have 200K, could you help me with like maybe 100K to complete it or 500? If you want, give the money. If you don't want, don't give it. But even if you choose to help her financially, don't not her, think, it's a don't yes think it. it is an entitlement to have access with your body. Let I'm me take sorry, Jerome's call. Not. Let me take Jerome's call. Thank you, Jerome. You've called in from Lagos. Let's hear what you have to say. Joanne. Okay, Joanne, thank you so much for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Thank you very much for welcoming me. Um, I want to contribute on what you guys are saying. Go ahead, please. Concerning the rape. Go ahead, please. You know, one thing I understand in, in, in Nigeria, especially our culture, they contribute a lot in this rape of a thing. For example, now a married man wants to sleep with his wife, and the wife said, no, I don't want you to sleep with me. They'll start talking the lady. Telling them that I am your husband, I married you, this is our culture, you need to be submissive to me. Number one, he has, he has deprived the woman of her own rights. And even when she, even when he raped, even when he raped her, the woman went to complain to their family, the officer said, yes, he is your husband. You need to be submissive to him. So that's what, that's one of the things that is affecting women in Nigeria, yes. 
especially from my own side, from the eastern part. Mm. Thank you so much, Joanne. You understand? Mm. Yes. Thank you so much, Joanne. So you see, um, because we are, we we this conversation, I mean, definitely one hour can't do justice uh, justice to it. There are many men that consider it a great pride when consent is granted. I must say they are great men. Any um, anyone that takes advantage slash abuse is beneath a man, and are misled to think it's conquest. And many sick mentors in this regard. You know, some people look at it as a show of power and authority. I want to show that I am above you. I, yes. Alpha male. So that is why a man will see a woman and tell you that I own you. Yeah. It is only the real men, right, that would say, you know what, I am really hard. I'm turned on. But if you say that it's not fine, like a man will consider it that I am wanted. Is that not a, a more higher grade to be in? Mm. When you say, oh, I am wanted, and the lady says, please come. Jonathan, than for you to try to now look like Force a beast. Yourself. Like it is the most ridiculous thing to do. Like you and lose your value. You lose you everything. You bring yourself down to the and so lowest level. Let me, let me level. even explain to this man. Right? You have done what you've done. You have gone. The scars and the wounds, it never goes away. For years, that woman will be crying silently. Of course, because again... People like these people that commented will not let you be, even when you are ready to break the silence. Mm -hmm. So I must commend and applaud every single woman out there that has been through rape and has had the courage to come out and talk about it. Because all this circle must stop. So back to my counselor, Timmy. Timmy said, Uwa, do you know why she tries so hard to get the, women, the girls? Because when we were going to secondary schools, I heard horrific stories. Fathers raping their daughters, daughters. Um, what's it called? I mean, if a man rapes a six-month-old child, what do you call that? There was a man in a story, a school in Magodo. The daughter was just two years old. His excuse was that the wife was not giving him sex, and he raped a two-year-old wearing diapers, his own daughter, not an outsider, his own daughter. That is sickness. So Timmy was saying to me that, you see, when you are ready and you break that silence, that is when that stamp of I am available, come and rape Siba, me, Uwa. goes away. There are things that it's just hard for me to believe people are doing. And so the only thing that my brain can process is the fact that these people are possessed. Yes, sick. Because, because there is a level, as a human being, there is a level of pain you can inflict on another person and your heart will tell you, Habba. It's just like if I'm, arguing, if I'm having issues with you or I'm, or I'm keeping malice and then you're in trouble, the humanity in me would say, ah, no, let me just leave our malice aside and help. That, that is the average human being. Or you see where two people are quarreling and there's an accident. They'll throw that quarrel aside and go and help the person who is involved in the accident. So if you are, if you are able to inflict, inflict pain beyond the natural threshold that humans can, can, uh, can afford to do, you are sick, you are possessed. It's not, it's not normal, it's spiritual. That's why I keep saying that we should actually attack this more from a spiritual perspective. <laughs> Listen, it's not funny. Some of these guys need to go for deliverance. But the thing is, no. most men Let know they enter church. A jail term will reset their brain. A jail term will do that. But somebody who is possessed, castration, Siba, will castration, their castra brain. castration can do it. Deliver. But a person who is possessed, they will go to jail and come back and come and do it. No, that's what You've I'm not saying. seen people he who are being to jail and castrate. castrate. He will repent. I don't support castration. Out, I don't support castration. I'm coming. happy that you're I do I'm not happy support that you're castration. No, I support it too. <laughs> it's that. Oh, no. Comment. no, I yes. can't. Oh, I can't. Ahead, so <laughs> it's a so, comment from Angela. Most rape comes with fear, not sure of what is happening, surprise, shock, etc. You really hear screaming because of the shock. Saying no to rape, being silent is not consent. Mm -hmm. yeah, it okay, so we have Raphael again. Hi. Um, lesser minds will always provoke serious, will always provoke great minds by their position over serious conversations such as rape. I am surprised that today you guys are even glorifying this senseless men by even reading their comments on this evil called rape. Rape is evil. Simple. So we're not glorifying the comments, um, mm -hmm. Raphael. What we're trying to do is we're trying to help you people see, I mean, the reasonable men like you The reality you out there, of the society. The, yeah, the reasonable like men like you out there to see what the fellow man is saying about this and some fellow women like us saying about rape so we're not glorifying them 
we're trying to say, you know what, let us provoke your thoughts. So the next time you hear of a rape case, right, you are the one that would carry that guy and bundle the person to the police station and make sure that justice is served. Because I think over the years, the silent thing, because most of the cases that we had, we, we had when we were going through those school tours that were family members, especially fathers and all of that, mm -hmm. when we brought the attention of the parents, the mothers, they'll tell you that it's a family matter, we'll settle it. And we kept quiet. No. We should stop keeping quiet. Madam, if you would not be responsible to do the right mm -hmm. thing, which is to bring your husband to book, I would do, do the right thing for the safety of that child. Because right. over the years, that is why that circle, that vicious circle had continued. Mm -hmm. I so don't think, okay. sorry, I, 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 you know, in, um, I think we did a market march. When was that? Um, I think it was in 20, 2019, where women went to Yamba market or Lagos market to tell the men to stop grouping mm -hmm. women. And you realize that over the years, women have been speaking out about rape. Women have been speaking up about, um, sexual harassment mm. and molestation and all of that. Now, men cannot tell me that they've not been listening. Other women who also victim blame cannot say that they've not been listening. They've been hearing. But you realize that a lot of men don't listen to women. Hmm. If it's coming out from a woman's mouth, it is rubbish. They don't take it. Hmm. So I want to encourage men who understand the meaning of consent, who understand that rape is wrong, that they need to actually come out and start educating their fellow men. Hmm. If they're not going to listen to women, they will listen to you. Hmm. Right. It's as simple as that. That's the patriarchy. When we, yes. yes. When women were coming out, were doing protests for, for sexual harassment, men did not come out. When it was answers, women came out. Men came out because you're involved. But now you need to realize that you are involved. You have sisters. You have daughters, mothers, you have mothers. aunties, you have daughters. You have little cousins running around, people that you actually need to take care of. Mm. And if you don't protect them, if you don't educate your immediate family, your brothers, your cousins, your uncles, your fathers, then your sisters are not protected. That's the right. women around you are not protected. So if men are not going to listen to us women, they will listen to you. Mm. You need to stop keeping quiet when you see your friend harassing a woman. This whole, it is not my business, it doesn't concern me, it doesn't work when it comes to things like this. Mm -hmm. The whole bro code, do not snitch, doesn't work. Snitch. It doesn't come. It helps it, another it woman. Not, snitch. It doesn't Go even on. apply to rape or sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. So you people need to actually start speaking up. As far as I'm concerned, if you don't speak up when your friend is doing something bad to another woman, you're an enabler. There's yeah. no difference between you and him. Loud it. So if he gets arrested, you should be arrested too. It's as simple as that. So please stop keeping quiet. You need to open your mouth and talk. You need to actually caution them. Report them to the police. Let them get arrested. Now that you mentioned police, I think on another day we'll probably talk about the role of government and implementation. That's a oh, topic wow. for Somebody another day. Somebody sending me so much um, comment. says, I almost got raped by a man of God who was supposedly to be a pastor. I was fully clothed. Um... We all have very close encounters. Had to beg for ch uh, chastity as I was a virgin then. Wow. Even told me, this is the devil, he said to me. Let the devil use him. Wow. When, he, when she told him this is the devil, he said, let the devil use him. When he saw I didn't budge, he gave me money and let me go. And that was even a sensible one. He didn't even, you know. But I, I was scared from the experience and started to fear men. A friend once confided in me how she was raped by a toaster. Mm -hmm. She actually liked the guy and had been uh, sort of on a date with him when he invited her to his home and was meant to sleep and travel to Abuja the next day. And the guy tried, but she wasn't ready and he forcefully had his way. Didn't let go, um, uh, didn't let go the next day and begged her. He actually liked her. Long story short, they started dating. I told her, I am not sure that that can be called rape again, no? but since uh, ever since she had that experience, she for, I mean, she forgot that experience. The man that did that to her is a pastor in uh, RCCG in America <laughs> today. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I, I think, mean, the comment is very long. I think that when it comes <laughs> to, to, to this rape cases oh with men of God. God and all that, I think, listen, 
find God for yourself. Don't just depend on the man of God as your God. Because when you know who God is, then there are certain things that people will say or there are certain things they will do. And you, because you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, you know the fruits. You can, see, you can acknowledge it when you see it in manifestation. So when you see these things, you already know, listen, this man, I don't know where you're from, but you're definitely not of God. So stop relying wholly on them. Discover God for Something. yourself. I know God will do it. Hmm? Hmm. I know God will do it. I want us to start having laws on castration. You know, because they said that, okay, what I about women support. that rape men? I support. Women. I don't support so castration. So you if, you, if, you, if God, if, if you've prayed, and it's, the, the prayer it seems not to be working, something will reset your brain. Do you understand? If the tool that is committing the evil is taken away from the... From the body. You know why I don't support your brain. castration, Owa? So it what is the case? Brain. Don't forget, as much as we are shouting or crying out that we need um, 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 these rape cases to stop, we need it lessened, if possible, killed, there are people who will still be accused. And because we don't trust Nigerian judicial system, some people can get castrated when they are innocent. And by then, it's too guilty. Yeah, it's too late. It, it's too, too late. late. Somebody you know, says so ladies should stop allowing support guys it. into their houses. You should meet at a mall or something. You know, instead of going, allowing guys into your house. Well, that's true, you know. We'll keep the conversation going. I mean, I just, I felt like venting today because when I saw those comments, it was really sickening to my stomach. It was upsetting how people can actually think in that manner and mm -hmm. ask some kind of silly questions around, you know, when a woman is raped. I mean, there is no question, there's no excuse. I mean, we have nudist beach everywhere. Will you go and start raping all the people you see on the beach because mm -hmm. they are naked? Come on. Or you travel to the U.S. That's or let's say you go to Miami. Yes. yes. The nudists, they're, they're all naked, like stark naked. Like, so you start on. raping all of them because they are naked. So please, please, let's call what it is. It, I mean, these people are just plain sick people and they really need to go to jail. I don't know about Sanzi. Prayer, we will pray for them from, 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 while they are in jail, we'll be praying for them. All right, so thank you so much, everyone. Thank you to all the people that called and contributed. Um, we'll try to bring this conversation back because um, it's something that we'll keep on talking about. It affects women and we'll keep talking about it. All right, so Ways was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focus on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, please keep watching Ways. Follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell all your friends to keep all eyes on Ways. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again, very important quote. Rape is the only crime in which the victim becomes the accused. It's so simple. I don't need to explain it. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another good conversation to your screen. Enjoy.